Hi, my name is Brandon, and I am the product support engineer for System Link. And today we're going to go over how to install and configure your Linux real time target for use with the System Link web server. And so before we can actually install and configure your real time target, we're going to want to make sure that the System Link client is installed on our local machine. You'll actually have to have it installed on your local machine before you can push it over to your Linux real time target. To install the System Link client on our machine, we'll actually use um, NI Package Manager, just like we have before, for installing the System Link uh, server. And so once NI Package Manager opens, we're actually just going to go search for System Link using the search bar in the upper right hand corner. And once we search for System Link, we see the two options that we've seen before, System Link client and System Link server. And we'll actually want to go ahead and install the System Link client. And as you can see, it's already installed on my system, um, but if it weren't installed on my system, instead of remove, it would say install, and then you could choose to install the system link client. And so, um, since we already have it installed, uh, we'll go ahead and proceed with installing the system link client software on the real time target. But once we have it installed, we'll want to open up NI Max. And so, um, from NI Max, we'll actually be able to push the software to our real time target. And so for this demo, we're actually going to use a C Rio 9033, which is a Linux real-time target. The system link client is compatible with all NI Linux real-time targets. And so um, in order to install the system link client to our real-time target, um, we'll want to find our target. And so here in the remote systems, we see the C Rio 9033. Um, you'll want to expand it, uh, right-click on software, and then add and remove software. Um, instead of using one of the defaults, um, like you are probably more accustomed to doing uh, when installing software, we'll actually want to install a custom set of software. And so in order to do that, there is an option that says custom software installation. I want to go ahead and proceed. Um, it'll give you a warning, but we do actually want to proceed. So go ahead and click yes. Um, and from here, we see all the options that all the different software we can install on our Linux real time target. And so the options we'll want to include, um, if you click, if you go down and find the system link client 17.0, I'll want to install the feature. I mean, as you see, it'll actually go through and select the LabVIEW Realtime 17.0 as a dependency as well as a couple of other things. And since I'm using a C Rio, I'm also going to install um, Compact Rio as well. So that should be enough to get me up and running. So I'll go ahead and hit next. Here it shows the summary of our installation. Go ahead and hit um, proceed with the installation. So once we've installed the system link client onto our real time target, we can then proceed to add the real time target to our list of managed systems. Um, the way we do that is by doing it via the web application. So we'll go ahead and open up the system link web application. Um, once we open up the web application, what we want to go to is the systems manager. So when we open up Systems Manager, we actually see already that there is one discovered system. And in this case, it actually is the system we've been working with, the C Rio 9033. And it kind of lists some relevant information, its IP address, its model name, and serial number. And there are two ways to go about adding this target to our list of managed um, systems. You can either check the box and do Add Selected, as well as Add by an Address. And so the reason it might not show up here is if the C Rio is outside of the this machine's subnet. So we'll go ahead and do the add by address and go ahead and type in the IP address of the target that we're working with. And once you hit next, it'll attempt to communicate with the target and provide some preliminary information, just kind of like we saw at the other menu. So here, the serial number, the model name, IP address, etc. We'll go ahead and hit add. And as we can see by the um, the status and loading symbol on the right, it's actually attempting to add the C Rio. It's communicating with the C Rio and attempt to add it to our list of managed systems. Here we see the target has been successfully added, so we can actually go back to the dashboard and go to managed systems. We see we now have one managed system, um, and it is the system that we just added. So that's just kind of a short walkthrough and in installing the software to your target and then getting your real-time targets running Linux Serio added to your system link uh, web application. So I hope it's been helpful. Thank you.